Hey guys, um, I'm actually going to pick up my car right now. Um, the car is uh, being delivered from Nashville, where I bought the car at, and uh, uh, my friend Austin here is helping me out with, with getting it all set up and uh, getting over there to pick it up from the driver who, uh, who drove a truck uh, with the car on it all the way from Nashville. So um, stay tuned and I'm going to show you guys uh, exactly what I bought. Well there she is, the new ride. Hey everyone, uh, so this is my new car. Um, I got a Chrysler 300S, a 2013 with all wheel drive. Um, I'm gonna be a product development engineer at FCA uh, upon my graduation from Iowa State University this spring. And uh, it was time to step up to a new car. Um, the Acura was still worth a good amount of money and I got a great trade-in value for it. Um, so I just had to, had to drop the, the cash on this car. So I'm gonna go around the car and just show you a little bit about like, you know, what it's all about. It has 19 inch rims. It's in this like glossy, uh, well it's a metallic color for the white on the exterior, but it's got tinted windows. Um, it's pretty nice. Let's take a step inside, it's a little windy, but it's got a full uh, panoramic sunroof up top, so that's pretty cool. Tinted windows on the side, I think they make it look pretty sharp. Um, so let's take a look inside. It has a keyless go system, so I can just grab the door handle and it you know, opens up right away. Solid door thunk. Locking the door sounds really nice in this car too. Um, has these really nice gauges on it. I really enjoy this and it has like a very premium feel to it. It's uh, It's got 86,735 miles. Um, I did pick this car up in Nashville. Um, due to some complications with the car, it was actually shipped for free up to uh, where I live in Iowa currently. And so luckily um, I was able to get it you know, all set up and uh, picked up from there. So I'll put, put my foot on the brake and start her up. Starts up right away. Has a, like a needle sweep for the uh, gauge cluster. It's got paddle shifters, and when it's cold outside, the heated seats like come on right away with this Uconnect touchscreen system. So I can go in there and uh, just basically turn off, uh, turn that down to low because the heated seats get really hot very, very fast. It's got the analog clock, and at night the interior just looks absolutely amazing. Um, ambient lighting just about everywhere in this car. It's got uh, every option except for the luxury group package. So it's got the panoramic roof, the uh, auto leveling HID Xenon headlights, um, the sport package, so that's the S emblem on the side, and it's got the safety tech package, so it's got the uh, blind spot monitoring, the rear cross traffic alert, front and rear sensors, backup camera, and um, adaptive cruise control. And this is how you would uh, change the distance as far as um, with the car in front of you. So it's pretty great, it has 554 watt um, Beats by Dre audio system. Uh, it's, it has, it's not as bass heavy as I thought it would be, and it has more clarity than I thought. Um, it's, it's really not bad, but it's, it's not the best in the business, but it sounds pretty good nonetheless. This touchscreen system works flawlessly. There's literally uh, no lag whatsoever. Um, and you can tell, like if you had the luxury group package, you'd also have a heated steering wheel, but I don't have that. Uh, heated front seats, climate system, nav system. Um, it all works very, very well, so I'm pretty happy with it right now. Um, the key, this shifter is, uh, has some contention to it um, as far as the, the way it works, but for 2013 they updated the, uh, the notches to make it feel a little bit better in terms of how you depress the throttle because this has the 8-speed ZF automatic transmission. Uh, this car also has a 3.6 liter V6 with 300 horsepower. The S version has 8 more horsepower than the base version. Uh, same torque though, 268 foot-pounds. So basically to put it in drive you just gotta push the button in with your foot on the brake push all the way back and you're in drive and then if you want to go into sport mode all you have to do is just tap it back one more time and then you have sport mode on. When you go into park uh, it's not very easy from this position but you push the button in and you push all the way forward to go into park. So it's really not that difficult it doesn't uh, it's not as confusing as a lot of monostable shifters out there so um, I've had no issue with it but overall I mean this whole panoramic roof um, opens up and you can tell that it has this you know, full array, full panoramic roof. And if I press it back one more time, it should go all the way back. So that's pretty nice. And then this top portion will open up and actually go uh, below 
so underneath the, the pane actually doesn't go over the other pane, it goes under the other pane. So you don't have to worry about the glass flying away if something broke or something like that. Um, you have your sunglass holder in here. Everything's felt lined, everything has like soft padding to it. It has this uh, fake carbon fiber trim that looks pretty good. The, the finish is really nice, but the, uh, the fits could be a little bit better in terms of the fit and finish. Um, paddle shifters work really well, and then they have audio controls on the back of the steering wheel underneath the paddle shifters, so you can change the radio station or tune up the volume if you like. There's just a lot of different features in this car. Uh, it doesn't require uh, premium gas, but they recommend 89 octane for best performance. Um, I'm going to switch between 87 and 89 and kind of figure out what's the best option as far as uh, the fuel type goes. Um, so overall, I mean, it just works really, really well in all different scenarios. Uh, keyless go system, as I said before, so that's pretty nice. Take a look in the back seat. Has a nice solid door thunk to it. Back here, as you can tell, it's pretty roomy. Has a center armrest. Doesn't have heated rear seats like the luxury group package would have, but I don't carry, I don't have a ton of passengers in here all the time. Um, I don't know, it's, it was driven all highway miles. It's a 2013 with 86,000 miles, but it still has the powertrain warranty that's active for another 14,000 miles or uh, uh, two years. So it's still is a great car. I'm very, very happy with it so far. It has a ton of power. I think I'm gonna do a zero to 60 pretty soon. Should do about six and a half, maybe even a little bit uh, faster than that to 60 miles an hour. So um, if you guys have any questions about this car, just uh, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.